What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about our good friends at Nikola and why they are in the news again for all the wrong reasons. Go figure. Um, before we begin, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just some guy on the internet with some opinions, and these are those opinions, so take them with a grain of salt, guys. This is in no way financial advice. And if you can, it would really help me out if you hit the like and subscribe buttons and if you hit that notification bell so you get access to all of my uploads when they happen. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into this, guys. So buckle up, hold on to your horses, and uh, <laughs> let's get ready for a, a heck of a ride. So, Nicola, the law offices of Frank R. Cruz announced the filing for a securities class action lawsuit on behalf of the Nikola investors. And a couple of things we're gonna talk about um, are why this is being done, right? So uh, first, uh, it's pretty safe to say that the number one uh, reason is the misleading claim of the Nikola one, right? Where they let the, the truck roll downhill and they basically tricked you into thinking that they had this working product and it was just, you know, it was already put together and there was nothing wrong with it, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, claiming to have extensive proprietary technology. Um, there were reports where um, people would go into uh, Nikola uh, headquarters and they would see uh, other companies' equipment with tape over the logos and covers over the logos, right? So they're passing this stuff off saying, yeah, this is Nikola technology. It was not Nikola technology. It was other companies' technology that they were using in their own production, right? So it'd be like me um, claiming that the, in my posters here uh, that the LEDs, that those were mine. And like I was, I was proprietary in my LEDs that I used for these. But in reality, I'm just using it for my product, like what I built. But it, it's not mine. Like I used another company's part in this production, right? So that's basically what's going on here, except I didn't pass it off as my own, right? Like, I'm like, no, those are somebody else's LED lights, right? So kind of the same thing, a little bit of a, a, an analogy there. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, looking at this, you know, it just talks about, you know, the massive losses that Nikola has taken because of all this, you know, misleading actions, you know? And uh, I'm still kind of confused why this stock isn't dead yet. Um, let's take a look and we'll see where the stock is right now. So $25 a share. Um, and this is over the day, right? So let's take a look. How is this stock that was under at $22 up to 25, you know, let's look at the month here. I mean, it, this stock needs to fall quicker. I have no idea what's going on and why this stock is still surviving. You know, it beats me guys. I still don't have any confidence in Nikola. I wouldn't recommend buying it. I wouldn't recommend touching it with a 10 foot pole. And I would rather, I would rather not invest money at all than to put my money into Nikola because this is guaranteed to just go down. And GM's still high on them. And it's just, the story is continuing guys. We, there's no reason why Nikola should be at $25. Um, I know people have, you know, uh, expected it to drop. There's a lot of options trading involved because of that. And I really feel at this point that there's probably some, well, there's somebody who is, is in on Nikola that's keeping it from basically dying. Because other than that, logically speaking, there's no reason why this company should still be above $20. I honestly feel like Nikola should be below $15 a share, to be honest, but that's just me, um, at least right now. And on its way down, the spiral should keep going, right? This thing, is, it should not be $25. So it's just mind-blowing, um, you know, that the company is trying things uh, to make themselves look better. I think I read in one of their little news articles that they, yeah, here it is right here. Nikola tries to rebuild credibility at Hydrogen Summit. It's like, you know, your credibility, you never really had a real credibility because you never really had a real product. You've always used other people's products. So how could you have credibility when you don't have any proprietary technology? It doesn't make any sense. So guys, the, I guess the point of this video is there's still, Nicola's still out there, okay? Nicola no longer has Trevor Milton around. 
But that's not Nikola's real problem. Nikola's real problem is that from the beginning, the company has been a BS company. With or without Trevor Milton, the company has been a BS company. They don't have any real products that are theirs. They have to use other people's stuff to make their stuff. And then they pass it off as their own, right? They, it, the company's just... To, to give them another chance now would be a huge mistake on any investor's uh, part. Like, And if you're still bullish on them, you know, I don't know what you're taking but maybe you should get some help <laughs> because at this point, guys, it's pretty rough. And I really don't know. I really don't know what else can be said about them to deter people from buying their stock, but I would definitely not recommend doing it. It's a bad idea and you can spend your money in so many better ways. I mean, there's Tesla out there. If you want to get into an EV, there's a workhorse. Hylian's live now. You can go be a you can go buy Hylian if you want to get into an EV stock that actually has a working product. If you want a working truck that's an electric truck and you want to be part of a company that has a working production model, just go buy Hylian. It's almost the same price. It's a little bit more, but at least they have an actual product out there that works. So, guys, be smart with your money. Be smart with your investments. Don't follow the hype. Be safe. <laughs> and yeah, let's make let's make smart investments, guys. Let's make investments on products that are proven, products that have good cash or companies that have good cash flow, companies that are producing, and let's just stop playing the hype game, really. I mean, that's the hype game gets you into trouble more often than it doesn't, right? So just keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will uh, be posting some new stuff soon. I'm going to be doing a little bit more how-tos as well, so keep an eye out for those. And, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.